Yeah, Yasuo's like... Yasuo is fun to play, I know, but... I don't understand why people are banning the champion. I don't understand why people would even want to ban Yasuo. I don't understand. It's not a good champion right now. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. How do you get your ping lower than mine? It stays like 75. It just really depends on like where you live. The servers are really close to me. Alright guys, we're going to be recording a YouTube video. In this game. This game is going to go on YouTube. We're going to be playing against Camille. <laughs> Let's do this. YouTuber incoming. Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video. So today we're going to be doing another challenger game. We are currently at 705 LP in Challenger right now, so we're going to be playing uh, loads more games. But anyways, we're playing Riven against Camille right now. We're actually playing with the Conqueror with Inspiration set up like always. This is kind of an interesting matchup for us. Riven against Camille is kind of like a skill matchup. It's slightly in the favor for Riven, but then again, like it really comes down to like, like who has a really good jungler. In this case... We have one challenger in the team, we have one grandmaster in the team, and we have two diamonds in the team as well. It's going to be quite interesting. They also have the new champion, Yon, in their team. And in my opinion, it's a really bad champion at the moment. It's not great at all. Alright. So once again, going over the runes, once more, uh, we have... Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, and we have the Cosmic Insight. Also taking the 1 CDR, 1 AD, and 1 Armor. Alright, let's do this. Revenant against Camille is a really interesting matchup. If you make like one, um, one misstep against Camille... Like, it's gonna turn out really bad. So, like, did, c matchups like Riven against Camille, you gotta play them in perfection. Whoever makes, like, um, more mistakes in this matchup basically wins. Alright, this is gonna be quite interesting. They also have a pretty good scaling team comp. I think I might consider getting the push. We will see. We will see. Oh, he looks like he doesn't have to help his jungler. Looks like he's actually... Uh, Lily is going to start off the, the, the camp right here. Okay. Let's see if we can get the push on this guy. He's probably going to try to... Um, proc his passive on me. And probably only in me too. We'll see. That's what most Camille players do. I could also like proc like a... I could also use my Thor kill on this guy. Okay, we've got the push. I believe he's also playing with bone plating. Yeah, he's playing with bone plating. We gotta keep in mind that uh, Camille is actually playing with bone plating. Oh, I was actually going to win that trade very hard if I actually hit my third Q before he could jump on, on the on the wall there. It could have turned out very good for me, but he was slightly earlier with jumping on, on the wall there. I'm going to try to get the push on this guy right now because there might be a really big fight in the river camp very soon. 
I'll just keep on pushing very hard. I kind of want to avoid him fighting right now because we're actually missing a potion at the moment. Okay. Uh, I got him. We're kind of like trading kills with each other, which is just fine, really. He gets a he gets an assist. I get the kill. That's really good. I have the double buff right now, so it's still a, it's still a win for me. Ah, that's really good. That's decent for me. I think I could I could try to kill him on our tower right now. I could try, but it's gonna be pretty risky. Alright, I got him. Nice. This is pretty much like this is typically how you wanna play the matchup in the early game. Alright, let's go back to base right now. There's actually these guys are TPing at the moment. Lilia is top lane as well. She's showing up right here. Camille also used teleport, so we also have the TP advantage right now. Okay, nice. Ooh, these guys are risking it. I'll just help them out. Nice, that's perfect. So instead of them getting engaged in and probably dying as two, I just TP in and just save them. And we also got a kill for that in return, so that's definitely worth it there. That was really good. So we might lose like a couple creeps for this, but it's definitely worth it because they're now winning the lane rather than actually losing it. We just saved them really, really hard there. These are like kind of the things that you want to be looking out for when... Uh... Camille's coming here. Alright. Lily S right here. Curly in the river. I'll be showing the map for you guys now. Alright. So the trick against Camille now is to kind of get the pressure inside the lane. So we can uh, roam around the map and help them out. This guy actually has a Contra Ward in there. Against Camille... You want to be trading whenever she uses her W, because that's when she becomes vulnerable for uh, all-in. She might jump on me here. Alright, there we go. Let me get this control ward real quick. I could roam uh, mid lane right now. Perhaps gank mid, but... I actually want to try to reset this wave. I'm gonna let the wave uh, kind of drag into me now because I don't want to get popped by Camille Ultimate. I don't have flash right now, so if she, if Lilia comes in with the uh, with the plant, then she could easily kill me right now with the Camille ult. So I'll just be backing up for now, for temporarily. Also, the, like, as long as Camille doesn't get any procs on the grasp, that's really good, too. Alright, let's freeze this up. That's the bone plating from the guy. Let's see. We can trade him again. As you guys can see, like, every time she pops her W, that's like a free trade for you. She wants to try to get the CS there, but I'll just deny it. There we go. She's probably going to pop her true damage. 
Nah, she won't. As you guys can see, like I can deny her a lot of farm right now, just standing like right next to it. This couldn't be a fight bot lane. I don't see the as I don't see Lilia though. He's not popping his E yet. Lily is coming top lane right now. She just shown for one second. Lilia might be top set here soon. Hmm. I think I can kill them. Like, I. I I kept watching the map over and over again. I saw that Lilia for I saw Lilia for like half a second, so I knew she was coming. It was pretty obvious there. That's how I knew this. I'll just be resetting this lane right now. I don't want to get caught into a dive. They could dive me if they want to. Nice, we got that, so now we're going to be going back. Camille has a lot of trouble like pushing waves down, especially like early game when she does not have a team at yet, so... She won't be able to get a plating away from this. As long as Camille doesn't get like any platings in this lane, then honestly I'm just fine with it. I'm going to push this one very hard. I think we might be able to take one plating. Push that. I'll try to get like three autos off, maybe. Maybe three, maybe two. How I All right, we got a plating. We got the first one. Now, I think we could try to kill this guy, maybe. He does not have a ward here. He's actually going pretty aggressive on me there. Which was smart. He had actually, uh, he did have bone plating. There's no wart inside here. There is a contra wart down there. I don't know why he doesn't want to gank because there's actually a contra wart down there. I don't know. This Hecarim just missed an entire opportunity. There's literally no wart down there. Look, there's nothing. He could have had him. I just set up things for nothing here, but whatever, it's fine. I'll just go back to base again, real quick. I'll probably get like a ninja tabis this game since they are like full AD. I'll just do it now. I got my TP back up, I have Ninja Tabi, so I should be able to fight Camille easily now. Ninja Tabi's, especially into Camille, uh, works very well. This guy's like dragging the wave a little bit, that's nice. Got my TP up as well. Oh. That's unfortunate. If Hecarim is smart, he would actually stay top lane right now, so we can actually force this turret. Hmm. I think I could have killed him right there. He's super low. Okay, we got this thing. Lily is mid lane. Nice. 
Get some platings for myself. We got this turret now. I'll just push the next wave and then go back. I don't think Lily is going to be here. So, nice, right, so we got this. I'm going to be going bot lane now. I have TP up so I can easily split bottom and have pressure there. There's two people bottom. Ooh, nice. I think if they pressure mid lane as four, they can easily take turrets because Vayne is currently bot lane here. Okay, they won't get more platings. Hmm. Lots of CC. But I don't have to use my flash. I could technically flash any time and then still kill her, but she, they're too weak right now. Camille's probably going to show up here. We will see. They're fighting mid lane at the moment. I'll just keep on farming out. Nice. I'll be able to get my black lever now. This is where I'm going to turn like really strong. Okay, I got my Black Cleaver. So now we're going to be building a Death Stance. Okay. So Black Cleaver Death Stance is going to make us like really strong throughout this game. They're pushing bot lane with Alistar Vayne again. I don't know why. I think they want to force a turret. I need my team to like walk up right now and push lanes because I can't 1v2 these guys yet. I need to be I need to get stronger. They could kite me down if they want to. Let's see if they stay. Yeah, they stay. I'll TP for this. No, I actually missed that flash. Feels bad, man. Because that would have been a free kill right there. Ah, oh. That's so unfortunate. Ah, oh, feels bad. That would have been a free kill right there. And she would have been dead right now, so we could force the inhib too. Well, we, I think we could still take it, but... I just missed my flash. Feels bad. Okay, now we can take the dragon too. This is going to be a, a very flawless game, I think. Hecarim should be following up for the dragon here. There are no warts at all. Completely nothing. Obviously, I'm not going to try to fight a Lilia at Alistar. I won't do that. Okay. I'm going to go back to base real quick and then afford my a little bit of lifesteal. Nice. So all we need right now is getting the death sense completed and then like split all day. One thing to keep in mind though, I used my teleport from before. So I won't be able to group with my team properly anymore. 
I'll just be walking with my team for now in case like a fight happens. I'll I'll be there and we can make a big difference. Hacker, I mean Camille's currently split pushing, so maybe you can try to get a catch or something. At least I can't split right now because I don't have TP. That's one thing to keep in mind. Ah, oh, she's selling us. This is not looking good. He went too far for that. He won't win that one. My teammates are all caught there. There's only this guy here with, together with Yon. Fane is top lane still. Got him. Fane is going to be here. I got my ult in 3 seconds. Okay, we got him. Nice. We could take the... Uh, we could take the hero now too. I can also buy my death stance right now, so we're going to be pretty strong right now. I want to get one more wave before I go back though. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just go back now. My TP will be up in 80 seconds, so we can start split pushing Baldin again soon. Especially like this game, they're like full AD. They they absolutely have nobody who's AP except from Lilia. And Lilia barely does like any damage at the moment. So if I just stack up armor right now, we will basically counter all of them in the enemy team. That's why like Black Cleaver Death Stance, but also like Guardian's Angel is gonna carry us the game here. Fane is currently bot lane and there's a fight right here. So we should be able to win. You. The fights, they could still be better. We're still losing fights pretty hard right now. We're still losing them a little bit too hard for some reason. Even if even if Vayne is not there. Nice, we can get this thing. I don't think they realize that we're actually doing it. Alright, we got it. Dragon will spawn in 40 seconds. I got my flash up for this. Alright, we, go we gotta take the dragon in 30 seconds. This one is gonna matter. I think we could just force them right, right now. I think we got him. She has Zonius, I think. Nice. The dragon is gonna be uh it's gonna be ours too now. Nice. We could try to end the game here. We could try. Actually never mind, I don't think we can. They're about to spawn all of them.
This is bad. I don't know what they're doing right now. We would never win that. Like, they were spawning now. I don't know, man. They're, they're getting really greedy right now. They're getting super greedy to finish off this game. We should have just taken the inhib and then go back right away. Now we might even lose like a dragon because of this. I think we might lose the dragon now. Okay, we still got it. I'll just I'll just be right behind them if, in case they jump. Ah, we got the Star. All right, cool. We can go bottom now and force the another tower. There we go. We got this one. So basically the idea of what happened in that team fight was like Caitlyn was kiting them down completely and I was standing right behind Caitlyn so in case they would jump on, on Kate I could easily kill all of them with ease. That guy is gonna be dead. They should be able to win this, maybe. Ah, uh, unfortunately. They're like my teammates are, are 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 playing this like as if it's already a already a win, but they forget that they have Vayne, they have Camille. They're playing like this is already a win. But little do they forget this is they actually have a scaling combo. My team is going to be really careful now. They're like throwing the game absolutely here. They're completely throwing this game away. It already appears that Yasuo is two levels behind. Already two levels. The, our AD carry is already two levels behind. All right, let's push this. Hecram needs to go mid lane right now. I think he might cancel my teleport. Oh! He actually canceled my teleport that way. I didn't know he could do that. This champion is quite interesting, he's like flying everywhere. Alright. This game is a win. Okay. Nice. Hmm. Anyways, this is pretty much how you play uh, Riven against Camille in a challenger game. Uh, also, um... This game is currently being played live on stream right now. So if you guys want to see like more Challenger Riven gameplay and all that stuff, like don't forget to actually check out my stream because I'm like playing Challenger games like all day. I'm streaming like six times a week, so don't forget that, guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video and uh, I'll catch you guys up next time.